Nikocado Avocado just posted two videos in which he looks vastly different. He's obviously lost a huge amount of weight, which is awesome to be clear. He basically looks like he did years ago before he started doing the mukbangs when he used to be vegan, actually, and he was very, very skinny. Anyone able to lose that amount of weight Congratulations. That said, this whole thing is a little bit weird and the way it's being talked about to me is even weirder. Let's start with Nick's videos. He has this one on his main channel and then this one on his second channel. So he starts the first one very nikocado e right? With the theatrics and the drama. He's two steps ahead. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. He's going after the haters seemingly by losing weight, I guess, which is a little bit odd to me because the haters who he thinks are haters were the ones saying, hey, maybe lose the weight, maybe don't do this, maybe this is not a good way to make money. He's well aware that he is throwing away his health, his well-being, his happiness, for the sake of some YouTube views because his audience continues to eat it up, much like he eats up a million fucking cheeseburgers every couple of days. For almost the last four years, almost every day, he has done mukbangs like this, where he's eating six pizzas, eight pizzas. He'll get like fucking McDonald's and he'll order everything off the menu and then ask if they can just tilt the grill over to get a little extra grease in a cup for him to drink on camera. It has been an extremely sad thing to see. And what did he do to prove the haters wrong? He lost weight. He did what they wanted. He lost the weight. Maybe there were some who said, oh, he'll never be able to lose it because I believe that he did say when he turned 30, he would lose the weight. And he's now 30 something and he has lost the weight. So maybe that's what he means by proving the haters wrong. But for the most part, the people who were critical of him weren't saying, oh, you can never lose the weight. They were saying like, hey, please stop making this kind of content. People are saying this is some sort of social experiment. In fact, I think Nick says in the, that first video in the first few minutes that it's a social experiment. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. What is the experiment exactly that you can eat a whole lot of calories doing these binges and make money because people, some people like it, I guess, and then some people just hate watch it. And then one day you can lose that weight and then what, stop doing the money? What, I don't, what? If there were some sort of like, oh yeah, I stopped doing them and I lost weight and I'm not gonna do them anymore because mukbangs are actually terrible when done in this way, this overconsumption, thousands of calories in a meal type of way. And like shame on those of you who watch this for enjoyment. That would kind of be a message I could kind of get, I guess, although still he would have made millions of dollars doing this. Still not really a good social experiment, but it's not even that because what does he do in both of these videos? He does another insane thousands of calories mukbang. And in fact, keeps reiterating that 
his are real. I ate all the pasta, basically, and clearly finished my food. You actually see him eat the food. He's not doing what some have been accused of doing, you know, taking bites and then there's a cut and you don't actually see them swallow. Maybe they're just spitting out the food and that's how they're able to stay skinny. He's like, no, I'm really doing this. We know, Nick, <laughs> we, we believe you. But I have to wonder, like, what what is the point of this then? Like not once in these videos does he say, yeah, this is really bad or like, this is the last time I'm doing these. So like, enjoy it. This is it. I'm going to be healthy now. Is he just going to keep doing this? If so, then nothing has changed. Maybe he'll do it less frequently, right? That's how like competitive eaters do it, right? You see a lot of these skinny competitive eaters, well, they don't normally eat like this, right? They train, but otherwise they're eating fewer calories. So maybe that's the goal. He's going to do this like once a week or something, but like that's still bad. <laughs> It's still encouraging this like binging behavior. I really, really hope this was like a hello, goodbye type of thing. Like, hello, I'm back, but I'm not doing this anymore. He kept his word, he kept his promise, and he did it. <laughs> I said I would finish and I did. And honestly, I need to keep this, keep this appetite nice and ramped up, so. I don't mind it at all. I think he could still do mukbangs, but like a normal amount of food and people would watch him. He's so over the top and you know, people really like that character. They like the bird. Side note, what? Oh, so you get a taste test before I do. This is like kind of not fair. <laughs> These were two of the hardest videos for me to watch. I had literally the phone at arm's length. I did not have headphones or anything because I can't, I can't handle the noises. I've never seen a video of his in full, like since his vegan days. So I didn't know just how gross they can be even when he's not being like over the top. Um, he's just letting his bird eat the food at one point, like picking it. I can't, uh, point is, he could still do all of the stuff that, like, I guess people like without eating 3,000 calories in a single sitting. And also going back to the whole social experiment aspect, he still gained all that weight. Like, that that didn't not happen because he lost the weight and people didn't know he was losing the weight until now. He still gained that weight. And yes, it's good to lose it but that doesn't mean it never happened. That doesn't mean it didn't harm his body, permanently harm his body. The two steps ahead thing comes across to me, like number one, he's hurt. Like he is upset by some of the backlash he got. And number two, I think he's upset with himself and he's trying to pretend like he didn't do what he did to himself for money. Because at the end of the day, that's the story. There, there's no social experiment. We have a man who used to be vegan and very health conscious. I mean, his channel's called Nick Acado Avocado. Does that sound like a binging mukbang channel? No, it sounds like a like health focused channel, which is what his stuff used to be. And then it stopped because of money, right? I mean, this is speculation, but very likely the truth of what happened. He realized that if he kept doing these eating videos that people really liked, well, he was going to be hindered by staying vegan. That was going to limit the foods he could eat. Fast food chains are always coming out with these new, like, disgusting, like, what's the Dorito taco thing? You know, like, well, you can't eat that if you're vegan. You can't get the views from that like trending topic, right? It's going to be harder to do collaborations with other mukbangers. Like to me, clearly it was, oh, I can make more money if I'm not vegan anymore. And then he chose to eat like this and he chose to gain weight. And I'm not saying that weight gain is a choice in the sense that, oh, you're overweight, we'll just eat less. I think we live in a culture that encourages all of us to overeat and to eat unhealthy, sugary, fatty, salty foods that make it really hard to stop eating. Even the quote unquote healthy foods, right? All these foods that are marketed as healthy are really mostly like sugary, fatty, salty, and hard to put down. But in Nick's very specific case, he chose this. He knew what would happen if he ate like this. He saw it as it was happening and he continued to do it to make more money. And even as his health was failing him, he continued to do it which means he chose to put a burden on our healthcare system. I mean, that that sucks. Now, again, I'm very happy he's lost the weight. I hope he keeps it off. I hope he doesn't continue this type of stuff. And I hope that people who see it find it inspiring. I saw one comment from someone who said they always promised themselves if Nick lost the weight, they would lose the weight. So 
here they go. You know, they're going to start their weight loss journey. That's fantastic. But I also think, is this inspiring for a lot of people? Because again, it's so different from how most people experience weight gain and obesity. Most people don't sit down to record themselves eating 3000 calorie meals, right? Often it's a slow, gradual process. It's not understanding nutrition, not understanding how many calories are in foods, having a lack of time maybe, and just picking up something that's convenient, right? A little like egg McMuffin that's tiny, but is hundreds of calories and not filling at all, drinking our calories and sodas. And even if you are a binge eater and maybe your binges look something like this, this is not really what a binge is. As someone who used to binge eat, the idea of saying, okay, I'm going to have a binge now and sitting down and filming it, like that's not, that's not it. It's a lot more chaotic and unpleasant than that. So I think even on that level, it's really hard to relate, I think, to Nick's experience. But, you know, maybe he comes out with, I would love it if he came out with a video talking about his weight loss journey and what he did. I mean, maybe it's just, hey, I stopped doing mukbangs. I mean, really. But in reality, it wasn't just the mukbangs, right? It was his regular food was probably also bad as well, right? When that's what you're eating for the camera, it probably affected his like regular diet too. So yeah, maybe he has some good tips, cutting out soda, tracking calories maybe, or just increasing fruit and vegetable consumption. I don't know. I really hope he comes out with a video like that. I think that potentially could be really helpful for people. But I don't know, Nick being helpful, it's not very on brand for him. I would be a lot less surprised if his next video is psych. I did lose the weight, but I've gained it back. This is me now. That video was from a year ago. <laughs> I mean, his video from three or four months ago was like, I failed at losing weight. I'm gaining the weight back. I guess that's the thing that confuses me the most, why people are taking him so seriously. I mean, I guess because we see the weight is gone, right? And again, that's fantastic. He's such a character that like, who know who knows you know maybe he really is two steps ahead i don't know what his goal actually is here other than to make a lot of money and this video is going to make him a lot of money i have to say i actually love the it's just water weight is that what he says it's just water weight like that's genuinely funny and kind of speaks to why i haven't talked about Nikocado at all since he was vegan, right? And he decided he wasn't vegan anymore. I talked about him then. But since his mukbang gaining weight stuff, I've received comments from people like, hey, you should really comment on this. This is really bad and like negatively influential. And honestly, I never really saw it that way. T to me, his channel was like, hey, here's what happens when you eat a lot of calories, when you eat a lot of unhealthy processed foods yep, this is, this is what happens. Like, I don't know. I didn't think a lot of people would be inspired to imitate him. So I really didn't see it as much of a problem. The biggest problem to me is encouraging hate watching, right? Like I do think that is really bad for people. And I think if that's your content, you should really think twice, right? You should not want people to, I don't know, enjoy watching you suffer or something like that's not, it's not good for you and it's not good for their mental health. But really the mukbangers who are more concerning to me are the fake ones, right? The ones who are cutting their content and like clearly, like we, we don't need to speculate. They are not eating that much food, right? There's no way they would be that skinny. I don't know. The idea that they could be encouraging people to eat more because they won't actually gain weight or something, right? Like kind of a freely thing, eat as much fruit as you want and you won't gain weight. And then all these people gained weight. Yeah, it seems kind of shitty. But at the end of the day, I wish the best for Nick and I hope he makes content he's happy with. Because I think like only a true psychopath would be okay making this kind of content and making this kind of money off of stuff like this. And I don't think Nick is a psychopath. I don't think he's happy with his YouTube trajectory. I don't think he's happy with the amount of hate comments he's gotten over the years. I don't think he's happy with what he did to his body, but he obviously is very motivated and a hard worker. And yeah, I wish him the best. That's it for me, everybody. I would love to know your thoughts, especially on the social experiment aspect. Maybe there's something I'm missing there. You know, I'm not deep on the Nikocado lore at all. Again, this is like not content I can physically watch. Like it hurts me. It's an actual condition. Isn't that incredible? I think I learned about it maybe like 10 years ago now, but it's an actual condition. And um, yeah, it, it hurts. It feels like bugs or something crawling in your head. I can't describe it. For some people, it's actually worse than that. Like it's really um, debilitating. It's not like that for me at all. It's just like, uh. 
<laughs> just feels bad. Anyway, thank you so much again. Please do like and subscribe. And of course, thank you so much to my members and my patrons at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. I do a vlog just talking about whatever's going on with me and my kids, like kindergarten. Oh my God, I have a kindergartner now. It's crazy. And then the second one is a more controversial topic. I thought about making this the controversial actually for this month, but I thought eh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's adjacent to what I talk about on this channel. Most of the controversial stuff is like not at all related to veganism, right? Like last month I talked about the Olympics and the gender chromosome controversy there. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much, guys. New video soon. Honestly, what I really want to see is a Nikocado Trixie Mattel collab. Does he not look like Trixie Mattel? Like Brian when he's not in drag, doesn't he? Would it not be incredible if they did a collab where Trixie like puts him in the Trixie drag? That would be awesome.